you ever sing a song and feel much better? Was music your perfect remedy? Music is one of those things that has impact, right? You'll still, years later, remember that first song that you had with somebody. This is our song, that your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever it happens to be. You'll remember that song, right? And you'll remember and you'll hear songs that will bring you back to a place in time, you know? And God willing, you'll have, if you want to get married, you'll have a song for your wedding. And you'll have a first dance and it'll always be there, right? It'll always be your first song. Right, a graduation song uh, that uh, at a prom. Uh, since we're in prom mode right now, and I have a daughter who will be going to a prom this year. Thank you, Th thank you very much. I'm very happy about that. Uh, so it's I'm, I've always looked on how I can make impact, an, an impact on people's lives. Music is the easiest way to do it. it easy for me, not for everybody. And I would assume that if you're making music. You know, there are several reasons why you want to do it, whether it be about the money, whether it be about the creativity, whether it be about the art aspect of it, but even against all of your better efforts sometimes, you will make an impact on, it, on individuals with it. Now, the making money from your music starts from this very simple aspect of music, which is copyrights, okay? And, or ownership of the rights to your music. And these are very concrete rights. Okay, once you create a song and it's finished and it's written, maybe it's even in your head and maybe it never makes it down to pa paper, but it's finished and you start playing it for people. You own that. Or if it's a collaboration, together, you and your collaborators own that piece of music. And that piece of music is copyrighted the moment it's complete. And the moment it's complete, these particular rights are attached to that song. Now, music licensing. From those rights that you have, you then have the right to license the music for use by other people. Simply put, it's allowing the exploitation of your music for commercial purposes. And this is where we get into the whole uh, business aspect of things. And is it music? Is it art? Is it, uh, is it a commodity? Uh, is it transferable? I mean, the answer to all the questions is yes. All right. Yes, it's art. Yes, it's creativity. But it's a business. Right? And there are people making tons and tons of money off of music. But the reality of the situation is, if you take the first leap of faith and say, yes, I'm doing this because I want to make money, that's the first opportunity for you to recognize what you're doing in a business context. And once you can do that, then you can begin to plan. All right? We all know about television shows. And television shows uh, are breaking ground for new acts and new music more than they had ever been before. The, the most important ones nowadays, like Grey's Anatomy, has all those uh, all those emotive songs, and you know they always highlight the scenes. And uh, uh, Death Cab for Cutie came out of the OC; they were highlighted on them. Um, the original 90210 uh, featured the Bare Naked Ladies before, just before they like broke out all over North America. Uh, and then you have you know House has a lot of songs on it and brothers and sisters you can't turn on one of those shows you know one of those relationship based shows without having a lot of music in it and that's where a lot of the money is that's where a lot of the big money is okay so how does the music get placed here's the challenge i'm sure you guys are familiar with uh, music supervisors so the music supervisor works both ends of the playing field here they work with the uh, studios or you know the advertising agencies or the um, uh, or the gaming uh, the, the gaming companies uh, to find songs by independent and other artists so they're working both for the company that needs the music and they're working for the artists who are trying to get their music placed so the reality of the situation is that the music super is simply the go-between from the client the go-between from the, from the music, uh, music creator to the music user and then the music user being the producer can still say no to anything and could also consequently say yes to anything. So music publishers, everybody's heard of music publishers, but really what do they do? When I say copyright administration, right, they're representing the ownership of your work. Right? So they do the copyright administration. They can copyright the compositions for you. 
big part of what they do is they secure usage. So they're the ones who are going out and plugging your songs and promoting them to various music users. They take action against people who infringe upon your copyright. So if somebody is using, uh, is using your song and you didn't give authorization for it, then they will take action against it, try to get money for the use out of it. Uh, registering songs for royalties, right? So if you, if you haven't done that, everybody can do it on their own. It's very silly. Uh, it's very simple. It's all online. No big deal. But if you're working with a publisher, they'll do that for you too. All right. They maximize the earning potential of the usage of your songs by negotiating the fees because inevitably you end up sharing the fees with the publisher. So they're going to want to get as much money as they're going to get from it. Um, and then a short collection of usage fees. So they actually have departments that will go after the people who uh, have used the songs to make sure that they pay on a timely basis. If a publisher really likes your music, they're going to want to sign you because and only because they think that they can make money from your music. So, uh, and there are two types of deals that you can cut with music publishers. is the individual song contract, where the writer assigns the, the songs to the individual uh, publisher, and you can get a sum, uh, they will pay you X amount of dollars in lieu of income, but really the income comes from them being able to get your music used. So that's individual song contract. And then there's exclusive songwriter contracts where uh, there's an agreement that all songs written during a specific period of time will revert back to the, the ownership or the shared ownership will revert back to the publisher even after the contract is over. Is it music, perfect remedy?